And so you say you can't live without those decadent, juicy desserts? Well, I got something for you here. Delicious, fresh, living cobbler made with fresh, raw, uncooked fruit so that we get all of the life force, all of the enzymes intact, along with the delicious vitamins. First, we begin with one cup and a half of any nuts of your choice. I have a mixture of cashews and almonds here. Make sure that they're raw nuts that you've soaked for at least eight hours, and then you allow them to dry or dehydrate so that you don't add too much moisture to your crust. This is going to be our crust for our delicious sips so that you're able to get it into a fine texture, not quite as fine as a flour, so that you just have little bits of it left. So we're gonna pulse it just a little bit more. Good, that's good. So now it's time to add our pinch of salt. When you're having a sweet dish, you always wanna add just a wee bit of salt because it helps to bring out those flavors of the sweetness and a teaspoon of vanilla. You always wanna use natural organic without alcohol. And a half teaspoon of cinnamon for the crust. And you wanna blend those dry ingredients a little while first. Good. Now, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of soft dates. Dates give a nice texture to it. It's gonna create a dough texture. And you're gonna to wanna to process this until it sticks together. Almost. And keep going. Perfect. See how it's sticking together? That's what you want to see. And this can also be used to make raw cookies and raw shortcakes that you can put uh, strawberries on and make a strawberry shortcake with all of the living nutrients of living food. Now I'm going to create my delicious raisin glaze for my fresh fruit living cobbler. I'm gonna add one and three quarters cup of golden raisins, my favorite. They have a tart, tangy, and sweet flavor. And a quarter cup of water. This makes a really nice syrup. You can also use it as syrup for your pancakes. You can add other kinds of fruits in there. You can actually do this with any type of a dried fruit. And if you add a little less water, you can actually make a jam, fresh, living food, no extra sugar, just sweetened by the sun. Perfect. Now we're ready to create our cobbler. So good on pancakes. Absolutely delicious. Assembling our fresh cobbler. This is our wonderful nut crust that's dehydrated and it's firmed up. As you can see, it's created a very nice shell. And I've laid down some bananas, beautifully arranged here, and some papaya. And what I'm going to do is put a layer of our fresh glaze that we made from our golden raisins. Absolutely delicious. It's fiber, freshness, all those enzymes because it's living food. I always say living food for living people. <laughs> It's wonderful if you can get to be 80% raw. I know that I do enjoy some cooked food still. Like I love my collard greens cooked and I love my seitan and sometimes some chicken fried tofu is wonderful. But I do really try to do mostly living foods. And so as we wipe this glaze around, I'm gonna put another layer. I think this time I'll put a layer of strawberries. 
You will love this dish and your family will eat it up. It won't last for long, I'm telling you. My husband was like, whoa, make another one. <laughs> Put some strawberries. And you want to be very creative. This is an opportunity for you to really shine if you like to design. Because nature creates such beautiful shapes in its food. Look at that. It's delicious. You do it well. There's nothing like beautiful presentations. 